friends in this video i'm going to talk about the basics of deep java library what is deep java library and what are its benefits if you're interested in machine learning or deep learning and if you are a java developer then deep java library will be helpful for you so in this video i'm going to talk about basics of djl and then we will see a code example so what is djl deep java library so it's an open source library to build and deploy deep learning using java programming language it was built by amazon and it's an open source library here i am showing you the DJ library in github it's open source you can go through this code i will share this link in the description so there are so many modules available in this library and there are some description as well in djl it has a set of trained models a developer can develop a model using djl and run it on an engine of your choice mxnet tensorflow and pytorch these are the engines that you can run your model so in this diagram we can see how the djl fits in our application design so for example, I'm a Java developer. I would like to do some project on deep learning and machine learning. I would like to write a Java application. So I can use DJL. DJL is a wrapper for other frameworks. These frameworks are written in a different language. So it's very easy if I use DJL to connect to these frameworks and start doing my project for machine learning. DJL provides a lot of APIs where I can use from my Java application and I can switch between these frameworks on my wish. Now let's see an example. In the program, I'm going to upload an animal image and the program is going to identify what are the animals inside the photo and it's going to predict and give an output. Let's see the code example now. Let's see a Java code example. So here is a class object detection and there is a main method. It's a very simple program which loads the DJ library. So here in this predict method, we are going to upload an image. So this is the image name. I can show you the image. So this is the image. It has to identify the animals. The next line, we are creating an image and then we need to choose an engine where we can load our model. So here in this program, I'm going to use ResNet 50. It's an engine where we will be loading our model. And the next section is we are going to create a criteria. Why do we need a criteria? Because there are so many models. We need to narrow down our search condition so that we can locate the model that we want to load. So that's why we need to have a criteria here. And finally, we're going to load the model from the model zoo repository. The model zoo is a repository which has huge number of models, already trained one. So we can give our condition to find out our predictions. So here we are loading the model and then we are predicting it. And the result would be detected objects with some details. So when I run this program, so in the console I can see the result. It has already identified the animals and the bounding box coordinates. So dog and cat. So it's a very basic program to play with DJL. That's why I would like to share with all my subscribers and viewers. Hope this small information is useful for your career. All the best for your career. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.